if you've been following me for quite a while, you, you've probably noticed that like every couple of years, uh, I shave uh, my head. And it's not really to be to be stylish because I think it looks good on me, although I, I don't hate how it looks. It's more like sometimes in my life, I know that I don't have the energy you know, to wash my hair every day. It's just too much, and I want to make my life as simple as possible and, and remove a maximum of effort uh, from my my daily life. So uh, that's one of the... Um, usually when I get really depressed, uh, I shave my head because it's going to make my, my life easier, you know. I won't have to sh wash my hair every day and then dry it or wait that it dries. It's... Uh, it's the little things, but uh, when you're depressed, uh, they uh, uh, amount to a lot. They, they, they. These not are these are normally details, but when you're depressed, these become not details anymore. And yeah, even brushing your teeth may seem like s climbing the Everest. Recently, there's a lot of talk uh, around the subject of mental health and mental illness. It's uh, It seems that it was a subject that was not really taboo, but kind of uncomfortable to talk about for a really long time. And, and recently, more and more people are breaking the ice, openly talking about it. And uh, there's more and more uh, information circulating on that subject, and that's good. But also, uh, with all this limelight, there's a lot of uh, misinformation that is spread around, and there's a lot of misconceptions. That's the main reason uh, why I wanted to make this video. It's not going to be a sub-story about my life. It's more going to be like information on what it is like to have depression to to live with it that's that's why i wanted to make this video for um for people to better understand what it is how it works what are all the symptoms and all that it could maybe help you deal better with one of your friends who has uh, depression or maybe you could like realize that you have it because for a long time i didn't realize that i was um, that I was, you know, afflicted by major depression disorder. I was uh, diagnosed quite late, and uh, there's many reasons for that. And I wish I had been diagnosed earlier, um, although it, it is a lot my fault, but it's also the fault of the disease, because it makes you... it makes you a lot really passive and... Um, that 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 um, you don't really want to talk about it when you have it, and you don't really want to to see a doctor, and you don't really want to talk about it with anyone, your parents, your friends, uh, strangers on the internet. It's uh, it makes you want to like retreat in your shell, and that is one of the reasons why it can be so pernicious. Because uh, it's it's good to talk about it and it's good to be open about it. It doesn't solve the problem, but it does really help. And um, it, one of the reasons why I got diagnosed so late was not because I was afraid of having depression. It was because I was afraid of not having it. I was afraid that all this was just me. The, um, the overwhelming laziness, the concentration issues, the I mean all the all the stuff was just who I was and that there was nothing special to do about it. And that is one of the main reasons why I waited so long to get diagnosed is I was really afraid of not being ill and just being like that, you know, it's a question that you often ask yourself when you're when you have depression is that why am I like this? Why am I like this? And uh, well, there's a very obvious answer. It's because you're ill and uh, you should, you know, get get help, get medicated, talk about it. Um, but yes, I was really afraid uh, for a long time that I was just like that. And there was nothing special to do about it. That was just like my personality. That's one of the main reasons why I waited so long to get diagnosed. And also, 
I have been depressed for so long, for such a long time, that I didn't really know any better. I... I didn't really... I basically have always lived like this. So, you know, when you are like this day after day after day, it's, it seems normal to you. It's not like, you know, getting the flu because it's winter. Suddenly you have the fever, the aches and pains, your nose is runny. And, uh, and you know, you, you get that it's not normal. But when you're like this every day for years, it becomes the new normal. And, and um, yeah, you, you don't realize that it's not normal because you're so used to it and it has become just your daily life so um, depression is quite complicated because there's a lot of symptoms there's a lot of, of uh, very different symptoms that are not always um, at the same time, you know, and the, it really comes and goes. It's like the, it's like a roller coaster. Um, I mean, not not all of the symptoms, but but some of them are. And um, for me, the the biggest symptom was wild mood swings. I had so many mood swings. I felt so unstable, and that was like the the, the biggest uh, problem for me. Uh, I, anything could ruin my day. The, the the littlest thing could like precipitate me in this bottomless pit of pure darkness and and despair. And um, that is uh, one of the reasons why uh, s some people misunderstand depression is because a lot of people think that you're depressed because something is wrong with your life. But it's quite the opposite, actually. If there's a reason, it's probably not depression. Uh, it's one of the key uh, things in depression, is, is that it, there's no reason. You're, you feel really bad, and there's no reason for it. Um, I, I, I will elaborate on that um, later. But yeah, uh, that was the, the biggest uh, drawback for me. It's wild mood swings, like uh, really... Um, really kind of unpredictable and the littlest thing uh, could really ruin my day and um, of course uh, thinking about suicide like all the time like the same for the most trivial of things uh, I could like um, and yo uh, it's um, this is this is really um, a, a dangerous uh, thing in the long run not just because you think about killing yourself all, all the time so you might do it one day but uh, because you th you always think that you're gonna kill yourself sooner or later and probably soon you don't make any long-term plans and when you have a problem you think ah, if it really gets bad I'll, I, I will just kill myself anyway, so there's no point in fixing my, my problems because uh, I'll probably be dead in a year. And um, that, because of that, you, you know, uh, you, you, when you have a problem, you tend to ignore it. And that doesn't help. That doesn't really make the depression worse, but it's, it, it, it doesn't help, you know. It kind of makes it um, harder to deal with, and um, but really, um, yeah, it was that, and it was also um, one of the big symptoms I, I had is kind of like an extreme uh, laziness and uh, an extreme difficulty to start anything, like just getting out of bed was so difficult. I had to prepare myself. Every time I wanted to do something, I had to, like, pre really prepare myself. Like, kind of, like, you know, an athlete, uh, before uh, running or, or going on the field or what, they, they stretch and they warm up, you know? Well, every time I had to do something, I had to stretch and warm up mentally for at least one hour. Uh, and what I mean doing something, it, it could be just taking a shower. It could be just 
going out to shop for groceries. It could be just washing the dishes, uh, just going out with my friends. You know, even, even if it's activities that you look forward to and that you enjoy, it still requires you a lot of effort just to start it, you know, and just to, to, to get into it. Um, making a phone call, I, I had to like rehearse it in my mind for three hours, and I'm basically an extrovert person. I'm not an introvert. I I'm very social. I love meeting people, being out, having drinks with my friends, and uh, all the social stuff. Uh, talking to people is something that I always loved. So it's not, uh, you know the activity itself it's just at some point it's just doing something is hard you know and waking up is hard and getting out of bed is hard and just doing things even if they're beneficial for you even if they're good cleaning your house brushing your teeth eating uh sometimes you know uh, sometimes you're really hungry but if you don't want to get out of bed and make food, you know, it's, it's, it seems it seems too much of an effort and not really worth it. So many things seem not worth it. And um, that's basically uh, the three biggest symptoms that I had uh, with depression. You know, wild mood swings, uh, wanting to die all the time, at least once a day and uh, being really hard to just do things. And I had a lot of small symptoms also at the same time. Cause, and it's, it's uh, also a thing that many people do not realize with depression, is that it's not like old in your head. Some, sometimes people say it's old in your head, but no, it is a real disease that is uh, caused by... Um, you know, f uh, too much uh, serotonin reuptake in the brain and, and, and norepinephrine um, lack and other stuff. And uh, so serotonin is not only in your brain, there's a lot of it in your gut. So if you have depression, you will likely have a lot of gut problems because it's really a chemical imbalance that is not just in your brain, but in your whole body. I had for a really long time, uh, I mean, for all the time that I was depressed, basically, uh, GERD, that, that was one of the biggest symptoms that I had, which is basically uh, acid reflux, you know, it's basically a fancy term for, uh, uh, it's gastroesophageal uh, re reflux something, you know, it's, it's acid reflux all the time. I had, um, what else, morning nausea, you know, being, wanting to vomit when you wake up in the morning, uh, that was also just a symptom of depression and nothing else, N nothing wrong with my body. I had l extensive tests done on me, blood tests, urine tests, all the tests that you can think about, all my hormones, all my vitamins, everything was tested and everything was pristine, everything was perfect. There is nothing wrong with me, I don't have any, and I don't have a drop of extra cholesterol, I'm really in excellent um, health. So uh, all the symptoms that I had that I thought was just me being unhealthy, it was just depression, you know. And yeah, there's a lot of physical symptoms, a lot of joint pain often, especially in the shoulders or, uh, or your back. Sometimes your lower back, sometimes your upper back. But uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, a lot of gut stuff. I know a lot of people who are depressed who have diarrhea. I know a lot of people who are depressed who have uh, excessive belching, you know, like Shrek. Uh, people who belch all the time, it can be because, yeah, because uh, depression fucks up your uh, your gut. And um, what else? Uh, concentration issues and brain fog, you know? Uh, the brain fog that so many people talk about. Um, that's uh, oh, also one of the huge things that I had for so long. Insomnia. And completely broken uh, circadian rhythm, you know. Um, I was sometimes 
awake for several days at a time. Sometimes I slept for a really long amount and it was always at a different hour in the day. My, my rhythm was absolutely broken. And um, yeah, that, that was something really, I had really, really bad insomnia for a really, really long time. Uh, yeah, terrible insomnia. And insomnia resistant to everything. I tried uh, Xanax, I tried Zolpidem, I tried uh, Zopiclone, I tried so many anti-anxiety relaxants, sleeping pills, and none of them ever worked. I tried melatonin, of course. I tried so many different ones and none of them ever functioned. But now that I, that I am on antidepressants, I sleep really well and I fall asleep at the same time every day. I sleep for like eight, nine hours and I wake up in the morning feeling refreshed. That's new. Waking up in the morning feeling good, that is absolutely new. That is mind-blowing to me. I didn't know that it was a thing. I thought it was something fake that some people, you know, bragged about, but that was not really real. But you can wake up in the morning and feel uh, like you have slept well and feeling refreshed. I, I discovered that recently, that it's a real thing. Uh, and it it it's still mind-blowing to me that you can just wake up in the morning and feel good and have energy. That, pfft, I mean, that is, for me, that is, for me, that is incredible. I, I enjoy it so much uh it's it's yeah it's crazy uh and yeah uh, of course there's other stuff but i don't want this video to be one hour long or no one will watch it it's already like 15 minutes so um i'm gonna try to um uh you know finish quickly um so yeah that was depression for me, and I say that was depression, but it, it is. I am still depressed despite the antidepressants. Depression is not curable. You you have it. You have it your whole life. You just learn to live with it, and the antidepressants make it really easy to deal with. You know, the uh, depression is like this uh your neighbor's dog that is really aggressive and every time you go out it bites you it 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 you know tackles you to the floor and the antidepressants you know they put a, like a, a fence so um you still hear the dog barking at you sometimes it's you know you still have these depression episodes but they're really short you know i i still have really strong depressive episodes but they're five minutes instead of five days uh, that's huge and um yeah you can still get depressed and you still feel it you know but it's it's really kept in check you know it has the it has the the, the collar the leash um, muzzle maybe and uh, it's really you don't have to be afraid of it anymore it can't really hurt you anymore even though you still feel its presence what a lot of people don't understand is that um, one of the key things of depression is that there's no reason for it. Uh, and uh, Except, you know, just the chemicals in your brain fucking up. So, a lot of people um, don't realize that they have depressions because they have problems. And the problems, you know, kind of mask the depression. And um, if you... Uh, have a hard time finding a job or if you have money problems or if you have relationship problems and you feel bad and sad all the time you m might think that it's because of your problems and maybe it is you know and um, that's that's really something that uh, that can make it hard for people who have already a lot of problems to, to know that they have depression it's because you know if you like lost your family and and your belongings in the in the war and you know it makes you really depressed and you want to kill yourself it's it might be just a normal response to your situation you know but um if you if you if everything's going right in your life uh and you're still feel sad and bad all the time that's probably depression 
you know that's uh, that's how I really figured it out for me it was in 2017 last last, last year a couple years ago uh, it goes so fast um, 2017 I had kind of everything I made in that year more money than I ever did in my entire life I was really earning um, well like uh, more than enough I was uh, I was in a relationship I was in a long-term relationship uh, that was not the best relationship in the world uh, but we were we were great friends uh, the sex was amazing and we had a lot of fun together and I was eating good food all the time the weather outside was amazing uh, there was a lot of sun I was always going out for walks and like in, in public parks and stuff uh, I was uh, I was gaining a lot of success uh, with my Facebook page and all, all that uh, internet business and really everything was going right for me you know uh, everything was going fine but I was really in a bad place mentally I, I was you know like constant despair anxiety and and feeling bad all the time and, and waves of sadness and wild mood swings and all that despite the fact that I had everything that I ever wanted and that's what made me realize that yeah that this was um and a mental illness and not just a reaction to stuff in my life that is not going right and um, sometimes you know when you're depressed you try to cheer yourself up and that can be really a double-edged sword because when you're alone at home and you're not doing anything special watching some TV show or uh, you know uh, listening to some music, browsing the internet, and you feel this this depression, this wave of crushing sadness and despair and, and blackness and you know all this all this shit um, you know some crashes on you. Uh, it, you can just like go to bed, keep watching TV, you know it's not really you know it's 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 kind of fine because you were alone and uh, you're not doing something special so you you can just sleep it off and uh, i mean usually it stays for several days but you you can just wait it off but when you are you know like at a party with your friends everyone all of your friends that you love are there you're drinking some really good cocktail there's some nice music you know and, and you're having a great, great time you're enjoying yourself, you're having fun, everything is cool, and you're, you're talking with one of your friends, and, uh, and it's, it's suddenly, like, in the middle of a sentence, the, the, you know, the switch is flicked off, and all this, this wave of, of darkness and despair comes crashing on you, like, it's always... Uh, surprising it's always you know unexpected you never know when it's gonna hit you and it's often at random times and when you're when it hits you when you're having fun with uh, your friends like or when you're like doing something good that you like it's always really hard because you know that for at least uh, the rest of the day you are not able to enjoy this activity anymore and you gotta go back home because you're gonna just bum out your friends and nothing that you can do will make things better you are if you stay you're gonna be annoying for yourself and for people around you and people are gonna ask you what's wrong are you are you sick you 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 wait the long face and it's hard to explain because it's hard to understand and especially when you're in it that you cannot really put it into words you know I'm, I'm saying wave of darkness but it's really you know a very approximative uh, a term uh, uh, it's really vague because it's because it's vague it's just like fog you know it's it's gray it doesn't feel good but it's really hard to explain it's really hard to put words on it and um, I think that if you haven't lived it you cannot really understand it you know 
it's um it's like some stuff you know it's like uh, jumping out of a plane or, or, or having sex or even, you know, taking a bath. Uh, you can't really explain that. It's, it's like trying to explain colors to someone who has been blind since birth, you know. It's, it's one of these things that you have to experience, and I really hope that you don't, but for, to really understand it. And even if you've experienced it, you don't really understand it, you know. And that is what makes depression kind of helpless and, and kind of isolates you, is that even if you want to talk about it, you don't really know how to talk about it. Even if you want to, to explain it to your friends, I've tried. I Believe me, I've tried. And I've never succeeded. Because when you're in it, especially when you're in it, uh, there's just no words. And it's it's just this vague malaise that uh, stays really long and that makes activities that you usually enjoy not enjoyable, but it's hard to explain why. And it's really complicated, sadly. And it's, it's really difficult to explain. And I'm doing my best and I know that it's still... I'm not doing it justice if I can talk like this, you know. I'm um, I'm not explaining it well because it's kind of impossible to really explain, you know. This is like trying to explain the color blue to someone who's never seen the sky or the sea or anything blue. How do you explain it? There was one day last summer when I had a terrible mental breakdown, like really horrible, like down in dumps, you know, when you think that you have reached your lowest point, but I, you continue digging and it's, it's really, I, because, because I walked in front of an ice cream shop and they didn't have my favorite flavor, you know, and I, I, I and I really, really was, this, it put me in a horrible state of mind and I really wanted to die that day. And I really felt horrible because I, I walked in front of an ice cream shop and they didn't have my favorite flavor. That's the kind of person that depression makes out of you. You know, someone that is extremely vulnerable to the smallest details and you never know what is going to give you a, a breakdown and, and when it's going to happen. But when it happens, it, it happens like real hard. And, and there's nothing you can do about it.